Hey hackers, welcome back to Shadow Pen Test. Today we are diving into Social Fish, a powerful fishing framework available on GitHub. Remember, this tutorial is for educational purpose only. Using these tools without proper authorization is illegal and unethical. Let's learn how attackers might exploit vulnerabilities so we can better protect against them. So before that, let me explain what is phishing. Phishing is the art of tricking people into revealing sensitive information in the form of uh, sending fake links that look legitimate so that they can click the link and then all of the credentials, whatever they input into the website, we can see them. So that's how the attackers can do. So today we will see how social fish makes it possible for us. So first thing is first what you do is go to the GitHub and then type social fish. You will land into this page. So when you come down here, you will see a source code here. Just copy it. Copy and go to your Kali Linux machine. First thing is install. First thing is update your machine. I think it's already updated my own. So once you update, then you go to git clone. So git clone and then copy paste the, the code URL that you copied from the GitHub and enter. So now what happens is it will download all of the files from the GitHub. Just give a second, it will all download, then we will see. So now it will create a directory. You can see it here. So we will change the directory into that social fish. Yes. So now you see there is a files inside the directory of social face. But here there is one file that you see dot sh. This is executable file but for now it is not executable because you can see it here. If I type social fish enter permission is denied because the file doesn't have a executable permission. So what we do is we can use ch more plus x social fish. Now if you do list the file then you see before before and now the file is highlighted which means the cell script has the full formations to execute so now you use this command social fish and then enter now you see the menu of social face here let me explain please be careful this is where the core of phishing works what you see on the menu is the instagram facebook snapchat twitter Adobe, Dropbox, PayPal, a lot of websites are hosted here. These websites are copied from the real one and they modify some details into the code. So what they will modify here? So the hackers do the process of harvesting, credential harvesting. So this is the, if you hear the term of credential harvesting, this is where it will play the role of it. So credential harvesting means a attacker can create a fake website that look like a real one so when you open and then generate a link on that web page and then send it to you once you click the link then you will land into the login page of the, the that website let's say facebook you will land into the facebook page that look very legitimate it looks like a real unless you read the url and then what you do is you input the username and password so once you click login your credentials will be show up here on the attacker machine. This process is called credential harvesting attack. So now let's move forward. Let's choose a website. Let's go with Facebook, second option. Now we have another options. What are they? The first one is the fake website that we all understand. And second one is we see SSH tunneling and some other things. Here what happens is when you choose the website that you want to harvest for phishing attack, they all deploy into the local machine behind the screens the the website that we have which you selected they are only hosted into the local machine but we need to give permission or allow them to the public internet and then share the link which you generated so for this purpose what we need to do is we need to do the forwarding or tunneling for it or else local host tunneling let's say this word local host tunneling so which means in the local host tunneling you will take the local website and give the access to the, access to the public users, public internet, so that whenever you click the link, 
you will see the local hosted machine at your end so that's why there are many tools uh, cloudflare is a nice one and then uh, ngrock is also good ngrock you can go to their website and you can log in sign up for free and log in and you will get an api token for it and then you just put it into the ngrock config file but for now what we do is we'll use the servo and then enter choose the port what is the port that you want to use by default most of the websites are 80 or 8080 you can also custom the port but i'm going with the default port i'm okay with it the starting php server i can see behind the screens now it is uh, downloading the real facebook website and then modifying the content around the user login page and you can see there is a link we have it send this send the link that send the direct link to the target at the same time it is also generated sorted link short handling what it means if you send this link if somebody see it they feel like this is not a you know uh, this this look like a malicious url maybe it doesn't look like legit man not the real one but the other one you see short url it looks something not like okay we can use like it's not look like a that much but let me see the other one where is it let me see if this one can give any details open uh, it's also same but it is given all like a traditional facebook page maybe the social face they didn't update the templates but no worries we have a lot of other tools but this is just for practice purpose so now let me take the same url and then you enter here your uh, username shadow pen test password shadow pen test and I click login so immediately here what happens is you can see credentials are found which means and also it is saved to the logs you can see site facebook save that username.txt so grabbing the user details and the password is very very easy with the phishing attack you just need to trick the person do the social engineering in the best way and they trick them to click this link and then they will put the credentials and click login and immediately once they click on the login button you will immediately get it also let's try with uh, let us try because uh, the Facebook is, is given the traditional login page. Let's try with Instagram. So I will, I will go with the server.net. Default port, I'm okay. Uh, let's see now it is creating a PHP server login page. Let's wait, guys, some time. The website will be hosted. Yes, it is now hosted. At the same time, we also get the shortened link. okay this instagram page look very advanced is not that much old not that much new it should be medium but still okay here also i will input shadow pen test but uh, guys you can also look at the url if you see the url you have to understand this is not a, a real website this is for credential harvesting so once you click login this page will take you to the real instagram website immediately it will redirect but at the same time it captured the credentials so that's that easy the phishing attack okay and that's all for today and thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions i will see you in the next video thank you so much